Welcome back to The Mass Singer and our road to the big finale, where tonight a champion will be crowned. Woo! And now, time to crack more clues and reveal more closely guarded secrets of the unmasked. Our eighth singer to go was Ladybug. The panel never guessed she was TV personality Kelly Osbourne. Oh! Oh my God! What? Yeah! Now let's take a bite out of the clues the panel missed. Clue one was all the references to her family. Her mom Sharon famously threw a ham on the Osbournes. Her dad Ozzy bit a bat. And then Game of Jacks was meant to be like my brother Jack. And clue two was those playing cards. 1984 is the year Kelly was Osborne. It's insane what this show does because it strips you of anything that you know being human is. You can't hear, you can't see, you can't feel anything. You realize all of these things that you thought you needed to be you, you don't, you don't really need. It's great. Next to be plucked off was Flower, who turned out to be legendary singer Patti LaBelle. I do it! And now, let's bring to life the key clues that could have helped you guess her. Clue one was the Blue Bell Flowers, a nod to her first band, Patti and the Blue Bells, whose first song was I Sold My Heart to the Jump Man. And clue two was that price tag. $13, that means something. It means Patty has 13 Grammy nominations. I'm 75 years young. I've been in this business for 60 years and I've never done anything so hard. I am proud of myself. You've made me happy. I love you, I'll see you somewhere over the rainbow. With Flower gone, the next to go was naturally the butterfly. She turned out to be Destiny's child singer, Michelle Williams. I knew it! <laughs> it is. Listen up as we explain her key clues. Clue one. At the height of my career, I had everyone saying my name. Of course, Say My Name was one of her group's hit singles. And clue two was the football. I'll let her explain. I performed at the Super Bowl. That's football. <laughs> Bye, Butterfly, you did so good. They're gonna think I'm weird for talking to you, but I don't care, you changed my life, and I love you. Oh, and you don't have to worry about hitting Nick no more with your antennas. Watch it with those antenna things, Butterfly. <laughs> Next to get the ax was Tree who turned out to be actress and comedian Anna Gasteyer. No! Oh! Anna Gasteyer! Let's unwrap her key clues. Clue one was the cult sign, a reference to our famous Saturday Night Live sketch with Will Ferrell. And clue two, she said delicious and dish, a nod to another famous SNL sketch that featured... Sweaty balls. Sweaty balls. Oh my Sweaty God! Sweaty balls. It was everywhere, right? Because that's the Christmas favorite. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna say that performing in this costume, your sense of your space is all wacky. So you're, you're kind of bumping into stuff. It's sort of like parallel parking a semi-truck if you've never done that before. It was a humbling physical experience. Our next unmasked singer was Thingamajig, who turned out to be NBA All-Star and Ken's first correct guest, Victor Oladipo. Oh, you were right, Ken! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's scan through his main clues. Clue one. Imagine K. Magician. Victor's first NBA team was the Orlando Magic, and clue two was set on stage. My darkest moment was when I went to rehab. Wow. Not that rehab. Victor had to rehab his knee after suffering a major injury. Thank you. He had a special thing with Nicole that started when he sang Rainbow. You hold tight to your umbrella. Cause oh darling, God. I'm just trying to tell ya that there's always been a rainbow hanging over. Mrs. Thingamajig. And continued when she crashed his goodbye interview. Things you want me to wear? Hey! 
with Ken tagging along. All right, all right, all right, all right. I, uh, Victor even serenaded her on the spot. You're my baby. And Ken. You're my lover. Oh, I, you're my lady. I feel like you were made just for me, babe. Tell me. <laughs> oh, I love you, Victor Oladipo. Ken you. is crying, and I am hardcore blushing. I don't think I've ever blushed this hard ever. I can't even look into his eyes. And his voice of baby Jesus. And Ken is crying. Uh, I just... <laughs> I'm just so honored to have you. We're really lucky to, to have you. you. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. So much. Thank you. Sorry. Guys. Thank you. We'll be in touch. Okay. Yeah. For sure. Yep. You too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Victory. Victory. Was that planned? Our most recent unmasking was Leopard, who turned out to be another animal, singer and songwriter Seal. There he is! The legendary! Spot the clues that could have sealed his identity? Yeah! Clue one. Did you wonder what those grandmothers meant? Well, Seal has four Grammys. And clue two was this newspaper headline. Crazy is one of Seal's biggest hits. He stayed deep in character at all times. I couldn't really break character because I was just so paranoid of them figuring out it was me that it actually kind of gave me added incentive to assume this persona. Baby, 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 oh, too sweet, oh my gosh. You are perfect, darling, bye-bye, baby. Coming up, who will be the last mask standing? What? The season finale is almost here. 